The Black Harvest Film Festival is a cinematic celebration of African Americans and the African diaspora. It happens here in Chicago at the Gene Siskel Film Center with more than 60 films and dozens of special events. It is one of the largest and one of the coolest African American film festivals in the country. Tonight is opening night. I'm Dan Patton from Real Chicago. Let's go check it out. This is the 24th year. It's, it just gets better every year. so great. What is the most thrilling thing about being a host for this event? Well, the people, the films, it's always a lot of fun. What is the most encouraging thing happening in African American cinema these days? The fact that people are seeing it. I mean, really. I mean, it's events like this that make it viable for some of these filmmakers to have their work seen. Because if it weren't for films, uh, film festivals like this, where would they be shown? Well, tonight I'm playing. It's got a film called Shotgun Wedding, which I'm excited about in opening night. And you got this kind of a crowd here tonight. How's that feel? Uh, it feels great, man. It's, it's a good, great turnout every year. I enjoy doing this like my fifth time consecutively, oh, so I love fantastic. it. I love it. I love being here. I love being back in the hometown. We've got some Chicago-made documentaries. We've got um, fiction films. We've got romantic comedies. We've got a terrific documentary about male strippers called This One's for the Ladies. And, um, you know, we've got everything that you could want in a film festival. We've got it. We've got a special guest of honor. What, what is the most encouraging thing you've seen in African-American cinema recently? So many younger black artists are entering into the filmmaking industry and telling stories that have never been told before from so many different perspectives, and that is so inspiring. Excellent. Thank you so much. And who's that gentleman over there that's bothering us? That would be my husband and the uh, other awardee for tonight. We're getting it together. Well, first of all, I'm interested in meeting Dolores Jordan uh, and receiving the award. But I'm also excited about seeing the short films that are going to be shown tonight. I know a number of the filmmakers, and I just look forward to seeing their work. My film just screened for the opening night. It was Riverman. It was the last film that screened. Um, and it was just absolutely wonderful. So I came here to see the film, hear the audience dynamics of it all, and it has been absolutely amazing. Every filmmaker tonight had a different message. And it's important that we have a platform in order to get those messages out to the world. So uh, we always congratulate Black Harvest and any institution that doesn't mind promoting African American stories because we need to see them. Um, we need to be empowered by them, and we just want to be able to show our work and express love and have people connect to, you know, what our messages are. This is actually where we premiered our film. Yes, and when did it premiere? It was tonight. Officially screened on the big screen, and so that was a pleasure. This was the first time we've actually seen, well, it was my first time actually seeing the full film. Yeah. Um, I held off on watching it because I wanted to experience it with an audience, honestly, and see what kind of response we got. And Chicago and the Black Harvest Film Festival has been great to us, Amazing honestly. audience. Amazing audience. Yeah. With this one, it's a romantic comedy, but it has a concept that some might think was a bit outrageous, but I think that now, in a time where people want to see themselves reflected in more ways, it's really something that's refreshing. My name is Zuri Brianna McPherson. I am in the film Training Wheels, and you guys should go see it. Nice! There we go. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much.